If you ever find yourself needing to travel away from the office or work from home, and you're using a SolidWorks network license, you can quickly and easily borrow a license for up to 30 days in the Solid Network License Manager. You can get there from inside the SolidWorks Help menu, but you'll need to close SolidWorks before you borrow, so I prefer to open it from the Start menu under SolidWorks Tools, Solid Network, License Manager, Client. If you have more than one version of SolidWorks installed, use the latest version you plan to use. The License Usage tab shows who is currently using any given license, and if there's any entry in the Borrowed Until column, that's a borrowed license from a user. Otherwise, the user is actively using the license locally. The License Borrowing tab shows all available products to borrow. Simply select the products you want and the date you want them until, and click Borrow. Some licenses may prompt you for additional clarifications if there are multiple license options available. I need SolidWorks Premium because I'm going to do some routing, and you'll see it borrows both Standard and Premium. Now that's exactly what we want. SolidWorks Standard is what turns SolidWorks on. SolidWorks Premium is an add-on license that gives you additional features. You can't run SolidWorks at all without SolidWorks Standard, but then you may need to add additional licenses on it to extend it. If you're done using that license early, simply return the license to the server, or wait for it to expire and it automatically transfers itself, no connection needed. If you borrow a license through a VPN, don't borrow it for much longer than you need it. VPNs can use a dynamic network adapter. You may not be able to return the license on another VPN session. Also, if you borrow over Wi-Fi or through a docking station network card, you may need to reconnect to that same configuration in order to return it successfully. Thank you, and safe travels.